All right, 3.30 here on Thursday. We are getting ready for the big holiday weekend. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to all of you. I'm Storm Tracker meteorologist Mike Rollins. Of course, we are busy uh, tracking a winter storm that is going to be approaching us here uh, in the next couple of days. And so we wanted to take this opportunity to walk you through the storm uh, detail by detail, talk about the snow amounts, talk about the timing, uh, talk about the travel impacts that this storm is going to have on all of you as we get into Christmas. So let's start off uh, with talking about what you need to know and just break this down very simply here. This storm is going to develop Friday afternoon into the evening hours and we are going to see periods of snow through Christmas Eve, through Christmas Day. So this is going to be a prolonged event for us here uh, as we get into this, uh, this big weekend. Five to eight inches of snow for most of you. And we are going to see 8 to 12 inches of snow, especially in the mountains. And then in a few areas, we will see 8 to 12 inches of snow at lower elevations. So I want to make that very clear that uh, really, depending on where you're at, 5 to 12 inches of snow possible here through Christmas morning. And that's very important because a lot of you are going to be hitting the roads here and we want you to be safe. Blizzard conditions are going to be possible as well, especially over uh, northeast Montana, eastern Montana. As the wind gets going Christmas Eve into Christmas morning, uh, we could be dealing with whiteout conditions here and that's really important uh, to hit upon as we get into uh, this event. All right, let's talk about again the specifics of this storm. This is going to be a wide reaching event. So not just Montana, but we're talking about from California through Oregon, up through Spokane, Montana, the Dakotas, eventually Minnesota, dealing with this winter storm uh, as we go through this, uh, this holiday weekend. So a lot of of uh, impacts here across the West. Specifically in Montana, right now we have winter storm watches. Remember, that's just a heads up that winter storm conditions are possible or significant uh, heavy snow is possible. And then we will likely see these upgraded to uh, warnings. As we get into Friday afternoon, I expect to see winter storm warnings, blizzard warnings there for portions of the Dakotas. Uh, we're getting a lot of questions already about the wind and how that is going to impact folks. Uh, this is going to be a dry, fluffy snow. So you throw in any amount of wind and this snow is going to be blowing around in a hurry. And that is going to lead to whiteout conditions, we think, uh, on many of Montana's highways. Here's uh, how this is going to develop. Big area of low pressure developing. And this is going to come sweeping through the west as we go through Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And then this thing really gets going over the plains, the northern plains for Christmas Day. And that's where we expect uh, really a blizzard uh, to develop over North and South Dakota here. This is going to be a mess for travelers. All right, here's the timing of this. If you're hitting the roads tonight, you're good to go. If you're hitting the roads tomorrow morning, you're good to go here. This is Future Track timing out the snow for you. We'll stop at uh, 6 p.m. Friday. You can see the light snow starting to develop here up and down Interstate 15, and we're going to see areas of light snow uh, developing as we go through the day, periods of light to moderate snow up and down I-15, especially over the Rocky Mountains here going through, uh, say, late Friday afternoon. That's when I expect to see light to moderate snow. Then as we go through the overnight hours, light to moderate snow continues across northern and western Montana. So this is going to be developing off and on as we go through the overnight hours. Here is Saturday. This is Christmas Eve. This is when I expect the worst conditions here. Up and down I-15 and along Highway 2, the snow is going to spread from west to east through the afternoon and into the evening, and then it's going to continue through Christmas morning. So again, this doesn't just end uh, as we get into... Uh, late Saturday. This is going to progressively get worse from west to east across Montana, especially along Highway 2 and I-90 and I-94. Going into Christmas morning, uh, it is going to uh, become a mess. Getting questions about whether or not we're going to be put into a blizzard watch. I think regardless of whether or not we get uh, a blizzard watch, uh, I think you should be prepared for near whiteout conditions on the roads. Remember, a blizzard has very specific criteria. You've got to have three hours at least 
of reduced visibility, either due to falling snow or blowing snow, and you've got to have strong enough winds for that three hour period or more. Uh, and so if it's a, a two and a half hour period, doesn't meet blizzard criteria. So I want everyone to be prepared for whiteout conditions on the roads beginning Saturday morning, Christmas Eve morning, and continuing into Christmas morning, especially again across central or eastern Montana. That's where I think the strongest winds are going to be occurring with this storm. All right, let's get to what you all want to know, the snow amounts. And here is our latest snow forecast here. And there's a lot of purple on this map, right? We are talking about significant snow uh, from this storm. Five to eight inches of snow across the plains of north central Montana. There are going to be a few areas, we think, across uh, northern Montana, right along the border, that maybe don't get to that five to eight inch snow range. So up near Haver, uh, three to five inches of snow, but more than likely on the higher end of that. And then, there's the 8 to 12 inch range that we've got to talk about. I think that's going to be confined to the Rocky Mountain front, a few areas getting a, as much as a foot of snow there, and then across northeast Montana, so Glendive near Williston, North Dakota, those areas could see as much as a foot of snow, again, through Christmas Day. So this is going to be a two-day event, we think, uh, for many areas, beginning Friday night through Christmas morning or beginning Saturday afternoon for Northeast Montana and continuing through Christmas Day. So really this will come in a couple of waves here across our region. So we've got to be prepared again for near whiteout conditions or blizzard conditions uh, going into Christmas morning. A lot of folks are going to be traveling Christmas Eve. We want you to be prepared for uh, the worst possible conditions on the roads. I would be fine if we don't get five to eight inches of snow. I would be happy with that because then that maybe means that some folks can actually make it to their destination safely. Uh, but unfortunately, we do think that the heaviest snow will start to fall uh, Saturday late morning, Christmas Eve morning, and continue into Christmas morning itself. So a lot of snow on the way here uh, as we go through the next uh, couple of days. We've got to be prepared uh, for that heavy snow. I think Danette says it well, leave early or just stay home. That's uh, great advice there. If you can get to your destination now or Friday, and get there, stay there, as long as you're not traveling uh, Saturday, uh, you're going to be in good shape because, again, Christmas Eve, that's when we expect uh, some of the heaviest snow to be coming down. Feel free to ask your questions as we continue on uh, with this Facebook Live event. We'll try to get to those here. Uh, we know a lot of you have specific questions about how much snow in my neighborhood. Again, we like to give you that range of snow amounts uh, because it is so difficult to predict down to the inch how much snow we will get. So we give you the range uh, to prepare you for uh, what's coming as well. Also, uh, remember to prepare for livestock as well. Again, it's going to be getting colder. We're going to have the snow coming down, that dry, fluffy snow blowing about. The wind is really going to crank up here Saturday afternoon into the evening hours. I don't expect blizzard conditions along I-15. I think that's important to point out. We are not going to be getting uh, strong enough winds up and down the I-15 corridor for blizzard conditions, but we are going to be dealing with very uh, gusty winds at times cold temperatures, the snow coming down, the roads are just going to be miserable Saturday afternoon and into Christmas uh, Eve and, uh, of course, Christmas morning as well. If you are going to be traveling, uh, again, try to get your, to your destination now, tonight, or Friday. Uh, we still have about 24 hours from now before this storm really gets going. Uh, and then once we get into, again, Christmas Eve... Christmas morning. That's going to be the worst conditions here, uh, and we are going to be uh, keeping you up to date, of course, throughout the weekend. What conditions are you expecting for Highway 2? Heavy snow, uh, and also areas of blowing and drifting snow. I think the north-northeast wind kicking in here for Christmas Eve is going to be just not not fun at all. Uh, winds gusting up around 20 to 25 miles per hour there, and that will lead to near whiteout conditions at times with periods of uh, moderate to heavy snow. 
Uh, here's a look at the planner. Uh, let me get you to that so that you can get a sense of, of what we're expecting in terms of the entire weekend. So this is Great Falls. Snow developing Friday evening in Great Falls. Then we're dealing with snow Christmas Eve into Christmas Day. Christmas morning, the snow ending maybe around lunchtime. So as you're putting the, fo uh, the food out on the table, that's when I expect the snow really to wrap up. And then going into Monday, we should be dry, uh, sunny, chilly. The winds turning around to the southwest starting to uh, warm us back up again. Winter survival kits, always a good thing to have in your car. You should already have that in your car. It's winter, folks. It seems like it's been winter around here for a while. So make sure that you are prepared. You've got that kit in your car ready to go, uh, and you are prepared for uh, Mother Nature's worst if you're going to be out on the road. That's Great Falls' uh, weekend forecast. Here's the Helena forecast. It looks very similar. Snow in the evening Friday, winter storm for Saturday, and then into Christmas morning again, the light snow continuing off and on. I am battling the worst head cold. <clears throat> so excuse me. Uh, as we continue forward here. Again, uh, if you're going to be traveling, make sure that you're prepared for the worst conditions possible here. I'm hoping that things pan out a little bit nicer. I'm hoping that we don't get a foot of snow in some of these areas and, and folks can't make it to their destination for Christmas. I know a lot of folks are already planning ahead. They're postponing their travel or they're, training, they're planning to get there early. Do what you can uh, to avoid uh, the worst conditions here. Shannon asking about uh, Hayes and Haver. Expecting about uh, five inches of snow up on the high line there, five to eight inches of snow, and again, uh, areas of blowing and drifting snow possible here as we go through this event. Um, let me throw up the snow forecast again. This is through Sunday, so you can get a better sense of the snow amounts that we're expecting. Don't get locked into some of these numbers, this three to five that you see here up on the high line. More than likely, we're going to be on the higher end of that number for Haver, Harlem, Malta, but just keep that in mind here as we go forward in time that uh, we are going to be anywhere from about five to eight inches of snow with locally higher or lower amounts just depending on your location here. What time do we expect the snow to arrive in Helena on Friday? More than likely it will, won't arrive until evening, uh, so you still have some time here uh, to plan for that as well. Heather's asking about uh, Jordan Circle Glen Dive. Unfortunately, that's where we expect some of the worst conditions here. Five to eight inches of snow, uh, possibly as much as a foot of snow, again, through Christmas morning. And in that area, that's where we're concerned with the wind really uh, ramping up here uh, Christmas Eve. So late Saturday into Christmas uh, morning, we expect uh, gusty winds to develop. That could lead to areas of blowing and drifting snow, could lead to blizzard conditions there, uh, especially across eastern Montana. So we are going to have to pay attention uh, closer to those winds, to the conditions there, again, around Glendive, Baker, Jordan, Circle. Make sure that you are prepared for uh, the worst possible conditions on the roads if you're going to be traveling uh, this holiday season. We are going to continue to uh, update you around the clock. Uh, our storm tracker weather team is working diligently to prepare you for this storm, uh, of course, ahead of time, alerting you to what's going on. Um, and so we want you to be prepared. We don't want to scare you. Of course, that's not our, our intention here, but we want you to be prepared. We want you to know what is coming our way so that you can plan appropriately for this, uh, this storm. Bonnie's asking about Minot, North Dakota. Blizzard conditions expected there, getting into late Saturday, Saturday night, and Christmas morning. Be prepared for strong winds. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised, I hate to say this, but I wouldn't be surprised if some of the major highways, the interstates there across North Dakota, uh, get shut down. Uh, going into Christmas just because of the blowing snow, the heavy snow coming down. Just be prepared for that. Um, 
we'll continue to, of course, keep you updated here uh, for all of our friends, not only in Montana, but across the Dakotas as well. We know a lot of you have friends and family. You're going to be traveling here, and we want you to be prepared for uh, the worst possible conditions out on the roads. Five to eight inches of snow for Great Falls, uh, extending east toward Belt. We're looking southeast toward the Little Belt Mountains. Their showdown, eight to 12 inches of snow there, again, beginning Friday night through Christmas Day. All right. Teton, Ponderé, Glacier Counties, uh, up, looking up toward Browning, 8 to 12 inches of snow there. Hart Butte, 8 to 12 inches of snow. I think as you work your way off of the front, 5 to 8 inches of snow from Shota to Pendroy, Valier, Cutbank, and out toward Dutton along Interstate 15. Helena, our friends there in the Helena Valley, 5 to 8 inches of snow for Helena, East Helena, through the valley itself, and then 8 to 12 inches of snow going over McDonald Pass, again beginning Friday night and in uh, on Christmas morning. So this is going to be a prolonged event. Uh, we're not going to get a foot of snow in a very short amount of time. This is going to take about 48 hours to get all of this snow uh, on the ground. Julie asking about Lewistown to Great Falls Saturday afternoon. Uh, I think we are going to be facing pretty nasty conditions on Highway 87 there during that time period. Bill's asking about uh, Glendive. Leaving for Glendive tomorrow, you're going to miss the storm. You'll be out ahead of it here again with the worst conditions coming Saturday afternoon for the Glendive area. Uh, Billings to Haver, Saturday morning, uh, more than likely you are going to face some snow along your drive there. Uh, the worst of the snow though coming to that area Saturday afternoon and into the evening hours. The earlier the better if you can get there uh, as we get through that time period because we do expect uh, conditions to really worsen Christmas Eve afternoon. Does that even make sense? Could we even say that? Christmas Eve afternoon. Yeah, okay. So Helena to Great Falls, Saturday morning. Crystal, you're likely going to face uh, periods of moderate snow, and uh, especially in the afternoon, you could face some heavier snow coming down uh, as well. Uh, we think those snow rates are going to ramp up a bit here, getting into the uh, late afternoon and evening hours here. Again, here's the snow forecast across Montana, beginning Friday night and ending Christmas morning, or I, I should say through Christmas Day, really. Uh, again, some of the uh, the worst driving conditions will be Saturday afternoon into the evening hours. Kim asking about Great Falls to Whitefish tomorrow. Uh, you're good, especially early in the day. I think later Friday, you will face snow, some heavier snow, uh, especially up toward Whitefish late Friday, but Great Falls will more than likely stay dry until Friday evening. Great Falls to Spokane early tomorrow, Jay. Uh, you're good to go here, especially earlier in the day. The farther west you get, you will encounter snow over Lookout Pass uh, later in the afternoon into the evening hours and then overnight uh, Spokane getting the snow before Great Falls getting the snow. So keep that in mind. I think the farther west you have to travel, uh, you'll encounter that snow faster. Uh, we'll continue uh, again to keep you updated around the clock. We're not just planning to end our coverage this afternoon. Of course, we'll have complete coverage on the 5.30 news, uh, also on the 10 o'clock news. Uh, we'll continue to update you throughout this storm tomorrow uh, going into Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. M meteorologist Michelle Morgan and I uh, will be here throughout the weekend. Jeff Kelly is going to be here as well, keeping you up to date. Uh, so keep that in mind that we will have updates for you as this storm progresses. We won't just leave you, say Merry Christmas, and then move on. We'll keep you updated here, uh, of course, throughout the holiday weekend. What does it look like uh, on Monday back to Minnesota? Monday is going to be pretty nasty. Still dealing with areas of blowing snow through the Dakotas into Minnesota. Snow still coming down in Minnesota on Christmas uh, night and even into Monday. And so um, be prepared for some of those highways possibly snow-covered, icy, uh, as we get into Monday, Tuesday, uh, that period uh, as well. Uh, if you're returning Monday into Tuesday from the east, so from the Dakotas, from Minnesota, many roads we think are still going to be snow-covered, they're going to be icy, be prepared for that return trip home to be rather nasty as well. So if you're postponing your travels to the day after Christmas, 
Uh, Montana roads may be somewhat improved, but we think if you're if you're coming from the east, more than likely you're still going to face problems through the Dakotas uh, because this event continues through Christmas night into North and South Dakota, gusty winds happening there. Minnesota still getting snow, we think, even into the day after Christmas. And so that return trip home will be impacted uh, as well. So a lot going on here in the next couple of days. Uh, we'll throw up the, the, the bottom line for you one more time, what you need to know out of this storm. Again, this starts Friday evening continues through Christmas morning. That's in Montana and north central Montana, specifically Helena to Great Falls, Haver, uh, and then eventually Glasgow here Christmas Eve. And again, five to eight inches of snow in most places, up to a foot of snow for some of you. So keep that in mind. And again, we could see some uh, near blizzard conditions. Lisa's asking about the return to Bozeman from Cascade on Christmas Day. Uh, Christmas Day, I think some of the roads are going to be a little touch and go. Uh, you need to be prepared for snow-covered icy roads at times, but again, most of the snow will be on the ground by Christmas morning. Just uh, plan uh, plenty of extra time for your trip. Lots of winter weather alerts. We already have blizzard watches in effect for the Dakotas, winter storm watches in effect for Montana. A lot going on here uh, in the next couple of days. We're going to sign off for here for now. And, of course, I've got the very latest on the 530 News. We will be back then, and we will do another Facebook Live as well uh, as we get into Friday and uh, as need be throughout this holiday weekend. So Merry Christmas to all of you. Of course, we'll continue to keep you updated throughout the storm uh, so that uh, we can keep you and your family safe. Merry Christmas. Drive carefully. Get to your destination again uh, before Saturday.